All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to another video. Uh, now this video is gonna be very important uh, and uh, it's gonna be a video about breathing. Uh, breathing techniques and why breathing properly. It's so important if you're doing any physical activity, uh, if you're doing any sports and or if you're training. Uh, now a couple of days ago, I was with this friend of mine. We were training. He started working out uh, uh, like uh, since two weeks so uh, he hasn't been working out for uh, a long time and we were doing leg exercises so I tried to you know push him a little bit trying to you know uh, try to do more exercises and to really do them properly and, uh, and after this jumping exercises he was like no man I, I can't continue I feel I feel too tired and uh, so you know I I watched him being a little a little weird so I told him you know sit down take it easy try to breathe uh, but then he told me no I just I just uh, feel bad I, I have a headache uh, I, I think I'm gonna throw up and then he, after a couple of seconds he just threw up uh, behind the tree so um, you know that really hit me personally because I think it's my fault that he felt that way and what happened to me it's directly my fault I just pushed him too hard and also I didn't teach him any breathing techniques. I didn't teach him how to breathe, especially when you start, you know, breathing hard and you feel like you're short of breath, uh, what you can do. Uh, and I didn't uh, tell him anything. And so uh, that's why I think he, he felt so bad. Now, I'm pretty sure no one wants to reach that part when you feel that bad that you end up vomiting, you end up throwing up. So that's why I wanted to do this video and that's why I'm doing it right now. So that for anyone that is following this channel that may look at this video in the future can understand better and can start you know breathing properly and um, and not reaching that part now i'm going to start with anatomy and physiology first because i think it's the most important thing uh, and then i'm going to go into a little deeper into the breathing techniques and, um, and yeah now there are two systems involved in breathing and carrying the oxygen and the waste product around our body. The lungs, so the pulmonary system, uh, so the lungs and the airways, and then the cardiovascular system, so the heart, blood vessels, and the blood. So our cells, for, to function, they need oxygen, all right? So our lungs are gonna take from the air around us, they're gonna, take the oxygen and they're gonna bring it inside our body. Now, the, that's when the blood comes in because the blood, the red cells, are gonna actually grab the oxygen and through the heart pumping the blood with oxygen, they're gonna be able to um, bring that oxygen towards the cells, even to the cells like in your toes. So the cells are very, very far away from your lungs, right? And uh, now your, your cells are gonna use the oxygen to produce energy, to do the metabolism and then as a waste product they're gonna produce carbon dioxide so CO2 and uh, then the blood is gonna once again the rat cells are gonna grab that carbon dioxide they're gonna bring it back to the heart the heart is gonna pump that uh, blood into the lungs once again and then in the lungs there's gonna be this exchange once again when uh, the carbon dioxide is gonna uh, be <sighs> expelled with the breathe out Right? So from the blood, the carbon dioxide is gonna jump into the inside of the alveoli, that are the, the part where the exchange here is done. So new oxygen is gonna be taken in uh, and the carbon dioxide is gonna be eliminated. And then to the breathing out, you're gonna eliminate that toxic and that waste product. So that's one cycle. Now, when uh, we do any physical activity, our muscles are gonna need to uh, are gonna start producing more energy. So they're gonna need more oxygen. And uh, by producing more energy, they're gonna need more oxygen and they're also gonna produce more carbon dioxide. So the, the full system of our body is gonna start um, speeding up. <laughs> so our breathing rate is gonna start speeding up. Speeding up. So <sighs> we're gonna start giving more oxygen to our blood. We're gonna start removing more of that uh, carbon dioxide. Our heart as well uh, is going to start beating faster, right, to pump the more blood to our cells and also to remove faster the waste product. And that's why everything becomes 
a little higher, right? So everything becomes faster. You start having this uh, heavy and faster breathing. Uh, now, talking about physiology, our cells are very good are working out without oxygen if it's uh, for a very short of time or they can still work out with uh, um, low amount of oxygen. They can still function, so they can still producing energy even with low levels of oxygen. Instead, with uh, carbon dioxide, right, if those levels reach and um, um, become, increase too much, our body is going to start feeling bad. Or our body is going to start having bad symptoms. For example, headache, uh, unbalance, um, you know, blurry vision um, or black vision, the fact that you don't really feel that well, uh, the fact that you have nausea, you, you feel like everything is rotating around you, you have the, um, and even like throwing up. So um, our body cannot tolerate high amounts of carbon dioxide. So we need to get rid of it. We need to eliminate it. It's a toxic thing for our body. And so for this reason, it's much more important breathing out. So letting that carbon dioxide to be eliminated than breathing in. Because when breathing in, we bring the oxygen to our cells. But our cells can function with uh, lower levels of oxygen. So it's more important breathing out than breathing in. And that's why there is a rule that's called the one, two rule. That is for every second that you breathe in, uh, you have to at least have two seconds when you breathe out. So double time. So you have to uh, breathe out for the double of the time that you breathe in. And because as I said, it's more important getting rid of that carbon dioxide than to give oxygen to your cells. Now, of course, it's very important giving oxygen to your cells, but it's more important if you want to uh, uh, keep your carbon dioxide levels at uh, uh, not that high, right? That you eliminate that bad thing. So that being said, I'm going to show you now some breathing techniques, all right? And I'm going to show you the most basic ones. And then uh, remember that um, these things uh, can be changed. So you don't have to do them always like this. They can be changed, they can be adapted. The important thing is that you remember the one to rule. So always breathe out more than what you breathe in. Uh, now the basic rule for breathing, or so the basic breathing technique is breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. That is gonna, when you breathe in from the nose, you're gonna be able to uh, humidificate the, the air that you're breathing in. You're gonna be able to warm, warm it up and you're gonna be able also to stop any uh, particles, any um, microorganism to enter inside your body. So it's always better to breathe in from the nose and then to breathe out from the mouth. Uh, so that's the first thing. Second thing is how to adjust your breathing with uh, the exercises, right? So I'm gonna take an example here, a push-up, right? But then I'm gonna show you that you can just adapt it to any exercise that you can think of. When you do the concentric portion of the movement, so when you are contracting your muscles, imagine you're in a push-up like this, and <clears throat> you wanna push up, so it's when you do the highest amount of strength, right? You need the highest amount of strength, is when you wanna breathe out. So, all right? And then instead, you're gonna breathe in when you are doing the eccentric portion of the movement. So when you're do going down, in this case. So, right, so that's the basic technique. I'm gonna show you right now here in action. So you are right here, right? So you breathe in, you breathe out. All right? Now, this is just a push-up. Imagine a pull-up. Breathe out when you contract. Breathe in when you go down. Imagine a squat, imagine a dip, right? It's the same for everything. Every time you're contracting your muscles, you wanna breathe out. Every time you are uh, returning from the position, right? You wanna breathe in. And uh, now that's the basic uh, breathing technique. And now it's very important that you keep your breathing in check because if you let your breathing uh, take over, so you start breathing too fast, your heart is gonna also be too fast 
and you're gonna uh, enter in the state that is called hyperventilation something like this <laughs> all right so this is hyperventilation and uh, when you reach that state your body is not functioning properly all right you're not giving enough oxygen to your cells you're not removing enough um, carbon dioxide your heart is beating too fast so it's not pumping enough blood in your body so it's just bad so when you reach that portion you need to stop doing anything you're, that you were doing you need to reset you need to rest and uh, you need to start <sighs> control your breath so even if it's fast <sighs> even if it's fast you need to always keep your breathing in check because by keeping your breathing in check you're going to keep also your heart in check so your heart will not uh, beat too fast so it's going to keep on uh, beating in an optimal level to keep on pumping enough blood all right and everything is going to work properly it's going to uh, be efficient so your body is going to be efficient and uh, so that's the most important thing keep your breathing in check never let the breathing take over even if you feel like uh, you're short of breath or <sighs> something like this remember just try to keep a same rhythm and uh, if you feel like you are starting to hyperventilate just stop right so rest a little bit stop a little bit uh, count your heartbeat if it's too fast again rest you know take your time don't push yourself too much but remember to keep your heart your uh, breathing in check that is the most important rule and um, and yeah so that's pretty much what uh, what breathing is now if you become uh, your fitness levels improve if uh, your uh, performance level improve you're gonna see that you can actually start changing a little bit breathing technique so uh, you can start for example breathing out before you do the contraction uh, you can start you know uh, doing some minor changes but the most important thing that you remember is that to, ch to keep on the breathing checked right always same rhythm and also the um, the rule of one two right so one second in two seconds out so always more time breathing out than breathing in um, now last thing is that you can adjust your breathing technique to the speed at which you're doing exercises so if you're doing fast exercise you're gonna need to adjust your breathing to that uh, speed right so for example here once again push-ups if you're going faster you can do something like this so Right? So you go at the speed at which you're going with the exercise. If instead you're going uh, slower, you can do Okay, so um, adjusting breathing to the speed of the exercise is also an important thing because uh, it's gonna help you to keep it checked, same rhythm, right? The more regular you can keep your breathing, the better it is. And, uh, uh, and yeah, you can just adjust it in this way. So uh, that's it guys. I hope that you find this video helpful and uh, yeah, see ya, bye bye.